Hi, Jacqueline Boster here. So glad to be back. Do you ever remember as a kid playing opposite day, either with your family or friends? You tell them you're going to do something and then you don't do it and they say, why didn't you do that? And you say, hey, it's opposite day. <laughs> I remember doing that sometimes as a kid and I wanted to share actually an adult version of opposite day that I have found to really be really powerful for myself. I'd like to just give you a personal example real quick and then talk to you about a couple things that you can do in order to incorporate your own opposite day. One of the things I used to do a lot a few years ago was spend a lot of time alone. I love to read and to write, and but I found that I could go really long stretches with doing that without really going out as much to talk to people, to surround myself with others. And what I found over time is that I actually felt more stuck when I'd end up spending those long periods of time alone as opposed to calling a friend or going out for coffee or thing, and things like that. And so one of the things I had to realize and incorporate my own opposite days were in those moments where my tendency, my natural habit, would be to be alone, to read and to write, to incorporate an opposite day of calling a friend, of going out for coffee, of doing something that allowed me to connect and interact with others. So what I encourage you to do is to think about areas of your life where maybe you're stuck in a, in a habit of doing the same things and you know that you're not getting as much out of it as you could. Maybe you're feeling a little tired, a little frustrated, something feels a little off. We're usually able to identify when things feel a little off. So the next thing that you do is you incorporate opposite day. So maybe for example, if your normal tendency when you get home from work is to go to the could to go to the sofa and to watch some TV or maybe your normal reaction is to go right to the fridge or to to get upset with the spouse because certain things aren't aren't done in the house. We all have certain things that we tend to do um, either when we get home or when we wake up and there are things that might not really be serving us and a good way to notice that is are you noticing that you're tired and frustrated and that it's been going on for a little while and if it has just say to yourself for one day okay today is opposite day so I'm going to do exactly the opposite of what I would normally do if I go sit on the couch and watch TV I'm gonna come home for example and I'm gonna put on my shoes and I'm gonna go for a walk if my normal reaction when I get home is to get frustrated about something that's not done what if the first thing I do is actually give my spouse a hug or give my kids a hug and say it's great to see you these are little things that you can do that really are the complete opposite of what you're doing and you just might find that by incorporating opposite day into your life you actually feel better, you feel lighter, you feel like you're in a different place. And this is really, really worth experimenting. And a lot of times it can, it's gonna, it will feel different. It's gonna be different. And it's something that we're not used to because we've been reacting the same way. We've had these habits. So in order to find out what works in different ways, these opposite days can be great ways to experiment with something new. So I recommend you try opposite day, especially when you notice that you've been feeling the same way, you've been doing the same things for a while, and you're starting to feel a little bit of the, that place that you're in a rut. Do the complete opposite and see what happens. So I'd love to hear your experiences with this, if doing this has worked for you in the past, and maybe some ways that it has worked for you. And as always, I look forward to sharing more in the future. Thanks so much.